In this video, we will look at subtracting decimals using base 10 pieces. This standard extends students' previous experiences with adding and subtracting whole numbers and their understanding of place value with decimals. This standard requires that students utilize models, drawings, and strategies based on place value rather than relying on algorithms. Here we'll take a look at subtracting 1 and 78 hundredths from 5 and 22 hundredths using base 10 pieces. To begin with, we'll estimate so that we can check the reasonableness of our final answer. I know that 5 and 22 hundredths is close to 5 holes. It's just 22 hundredths more than that. And 1 and 78 hundredths is close to 2. And 5 minus 2 would be 3. So we know that our answer will be close to 3 holes. To use base 10 pieces to subtract, we'll begin first by modeling the amount that we will subtract from. So I'm going to show 5 and 22 hundredths. Remember that each flat represents one hole when we are using base 10 blocks to represent decimal numbers. So we have five holes. Now 22 hundredths, we have two tenths. Remember a rod represents one tenth and we have two hundredths. Each unit represents one hundredth. So there we have five and twenty-two hundredths. Now what we'll do is we need to subtract one and seventy-eight hundredths from this five and twenty-two hundredths. So the first thing I notice is that we could easily take away one whole just by removing one of these five. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract one whole now I know the next thing from 1 and 78 hundredths I need to subtract is 7 tenths. I see 2 tenths here, however we need to take away 7 tenths. I know there are only 2 tenths here, but that in these remaining 4 holes there are a lot of tenths. In fact, there are 40 tenths. So I know that I could take one of these holes and ungroup it for 10 tenths to help me subtract. So I'll do that now. I'm going to take one hole and I will ungroup that for 10 tenths. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So again, we ungrouped one hole for 10 tenths. And now we have, now we have 12 tenths and we would be able to subtract 7 tenths from that. So we'll go ahead and take away 2, 4, 6, 7. So I have subtracted the 7 tenths. And then now we have 8 hundredths that we need to subtract. I see just 2 hundredths here. However, I know that in these 3 holes and 5 tenths there are a lot of hundredths. And so I can just ungroup one of these tenths for 10 hundredths to be able to subtract. So I'm going to take one of these tenths and ungroup it for 10 hundredths. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So there I ungrouped one of our tenths for 10 hundredths. And now I can go ahead and take away the 8 hundredths. So I'll take away 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I've subtracted the 8 hundredths as well. So now I have subtracted 1 whole, 7 tenths, and 8 hundredths from 5 and 22 hundredths. All I need to do now is check to see how much is left and I'll know the difference. So I see that we have 3 holes left. We have 4 tenths. And we have 4 hundredths. So this lets me know that the difference between 5 and 22 hundredths and 1 and 78 hundredths is 3 and 44 hundredths. And I know that answer is reasonable based on our estimate. We thought our answer would be around 3 and 3 and 44 hundredths definitely is. And so this is how we can subtract decimals using the base 10 pieces.